The Earth's composition is approximately 71% water, a vast portion of which remains uncharted. It is within the enigmatic abyss of the ocean that peculiar creatures reside, inexplicable geographical marvels take shape, and novel revelations surface incessantly. This realm unveils more than just untamed aquatic species and bizarre rock configurations throughout its history. Shipwrecks, human-engineered edifices, and even entire civilizations lay concealed beneath the water's embrace for ages. Countless anomalies beneath the waves continue to baffle scientists, adding to the ever-expanding catalog of bewildering marine discoveries. So let's go! Back in 2001, an archaic urban settlement emerged from the depths just off the Indian coastline, nestled within the Gulf of Kumbat. Within this sprawling cityscape, researchers unearthed a diverse array of relics, encompassing artwork, primitive implements, petrified skeletal remains, and fragments of pottery. Yet, the true marvel of this revelation lies in its age, an astonishing antiquity of roughly 9,000 years. This timeline predates the advent of the earliest Indian civilizations by a remarkable 4,000 years. However, the enigma of this ancient metropolis endures, shrouded in the uncertainties that persist. As scholars and archaeologists persist in their relentless pursuit, the region unveils its secrets at a measured pace, engendering ongoing discussions regarding the city's true age and the identity of its former inhabitants. In 1901, while snorkelers were delving into the depths around a shipwreck adjacent to Antikythera Island, an astonishing discovery graced their exploration. Concealed within the recesses of the vessel, an unusual contrivance came to light, an artifact that modern scientists propose to be the inaugural computer. Bearing semblance to a timekeeping apparatus, employing X-ray techniques unveiled the artifact's ability to anticipate eclipses, doubling as a rudimentary calendar to mark the passage of days until the forthcoming Olympic Games. Today, this remarkable apparatus is showcased within the halls of the National Archaeological Museum of Athens. The Apollo 11 mission stands tall as one of history's most resoundingly successful space expeditions. Within its narrative, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin commanded a trio of spacefarers, pioneering the inaugural lunar landing. A staggering 43 years post the remarkable lunar sojourn, the engines from the Saturn V rocket, the very vehicle that propelled Armstrong, Aldrin, and their co-pilot Michael Collins, were uncovered. These historical artifacts lay concealed some 14,000 feet beneath the ocean surface, concealed in the depths off Florida's coastline. It was the enterprising initiative of Jeff Bezos, the illustrious proprietor of Amazon, that led to their retrieval. This venture into the depths of the ocean was spurred by Bezos' fervent affinity for space exploration, catalyzed by the resplendent saga of Apollo 11, igniting his passion for the realm of science and technology. <music> One might consider this a bit of a creative loophole, as artist Guido Galletti orchestrated a distinct aquatic placement for his sculpture of Jesus Christ. Dubbed the Christ of the Abyss, this bronze effigy now resides beneath the waves in the Mediterranean Sea, ensconced between Camagli and Portofino along the Italian Riviera. The statue found its watery abode on August 22, 1954, a poignant location near the site where Italy's pioneer scuba diver, Dario Gonzati, met his unfortunate fate. Sculpted with arms upraised in an attitude of gratitude, the Jesus figure has become a magnetic attraction for scuba enthusiasts exploring the Italian waters. Its existence has necessitated periodic maintenance and restoration, having served as muse for two additional sculptures cast from the same mold. These duplicates can be found gracing the underwater landscapes off the shores of Granada and positioned six nautical miles east of Key Largo, Florida. <laughs> Diver Paul Hepler made a surprising discovery while mapping the New Jersey coast, a pair of 1850s locomotives lying underwater. These locomotives are the rare Planet Class 222T models, produced for a short time. The mystery of how they ended up there continues to baffle. No records exist about their construction or disappearance. The leading theory suggests they were being transported on a ship when a storm hit, leading to their abandonment to prevent the ship from sinking. The <laughs> This curious occurrence is an entirely natural event exclusive to the depths of the Arctic Ocean's floor and the Southern Ocean surrounding Antarctica. These peculiar underwater formations, referred to as brinicles, take shape when saline water trickles from crevices in the ocean's bed. 
Given the higher density of saline compared to the surrounding water, upon encountering fresh water, it undergoes a transformation akin to liquid ice, a phenomenon clearly depicted in this accompanying video. Despite its visually intriguing nature, the ramifications for neighboring sea life dwelling upon the ocean floor are far from benign. The gradual expansion of brinicles engulfs everything within proximity, often leading to the chilling immobilization of creatures like starfish, urchins, and various marine crustaceans. This chilling consequence has led to the chilling moniker Icy Finger of Death, signifying the threat posed by these icy formations to underwater ecosystems. Erected approximately 9,000 years ago, an intriguing stone formation akin to the renowned Stonehenge of England was uncovered in the depths of Lake Michigan. The architects of this enigmatic structure are Mark Holly, an esteemed professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern University of Michigan, and his partner Brian Abbott. Their explorations in 2007, originally aimed at locating shipwrecks, unveiled an anomalous assemblage now dubbed the Lake Michigan Stonehenge. Resting 40 feet beneath the water surface, these stones are meticulously arranged in a circular manner reminiscent of the iconic Stonehenge. Intriguingly, one stone appears adorned with a carving depicting a mastodon, an extinct creature that vanished over 10,000 years ago. This discovery is undeniably a significant revelation, although it remains shrouded in uncertainty regarding its origins, whether it is a product of nature or human craftsmanship. The suppositions vary, with some suggesting it might serve as a prehistoric hunting structure, analogous to similar discoveries within the nearby Lake Huron region. A Mexican sinkhole feared by local villages contained hundreds of centuries-old human skulls. The cave system, named Sac Uyam, lies in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and is a graveyard of skulls. Archaeologists explored two chambers filled with elongated Maya human skulls over two weeks. The skulls are of different sexes and ages, ruling out the possibility of them being sacrifices. It remains a puzzle why they are buried underwater. Archaeologist Bradley Russell, who made the discovery, suggests they might have been buried due to ritual practices or a plague. You wouldn't want them near the rest of the population. And you wouldn't want to drink the water either, Russell explained. A sonar image, captured by Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Aberg, and their Swedish OceanX diving team during a treasure search in the Baltic Sea, revealed a 200-foot circular object with passages and stairs on the ocean floor. Speculations arose that it might be an alien spacecraft, a notion amplified by media coverage. However, samples collected in 2012 and analyzed by Swedish scientists debunked the extraterrestrial hypothesis, concluding it to be a natural rock formation. Despite this, the belief in an underwater UFO persists, leading to plans for another expedition to the site. Iceland's Thingvellir National Park boasts the Silfra Crack, a captivating underwater expanse situated at the juncture of the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. With an annual drift of about 0.7 inches, this locale is a magnet for diving enthusiasts. Its unique geological position has rendered it a prime location for pristine water quality, often heralded as some of the purest globally. Consequently, the visibility underwater is consistently exceptional. This extraordinary natural wonder draws in a considerable influx of tourists, firmly establishing itself as a favored destination for divers seeking unparalleled exploration. Indeed, an astonishing phenomenon unfolds beneath the surface of the Black Sea, an underwater river. Unveiled by lead scientists in 2010, this remarkable hydrological feature courses along the seabed. It comes into existence as saline water cascades into the primary current, instigating the formation of an entirely novel aquatic system. These submerged channels traverse the ocean floor, adorned with cascades resembling waterfalls and expanses akin to vast lakes. Yet, the currents that animate this aquatic landscape are strikingly swift, posing a formidable challenge to those who seek to explore these expansive watery realms. I hope you got some curious knowledge from this video, please big thumbs up, and subscribe Curiosity Fusion. Bye.